Hello bookworms! This is the start of another reading vlog. So I had a lot of fun doing my reading vlog last weekend and I decided that I wanted to do the same thing for this weekend. So right now I'm in between filming videos. I just filmed my most anticipated releases of 2022 for fantasy books and I'm about to film one but with romance and thriller books. But before I do that, I wanted to start this vlog because I do really like this shirt that I'm wearing. And also, I just wanted to tell you the two books that I'm planning on reading during this vlog. The first one is Conceal Don't Feel by Jen Kalanita. This one is one of the Disney Twisted Tales. It's actually book seven in the series, and this one is about Frozen. I've been really looking forward to reading it, and I feel like December is like the perfect month to read about Frozen. I'm hoping that this will be good. I haven't read any of the Disney Twisted tales yet and I've really wanted to. I kind of want to read like all of them next year so I thought I would kick things off right now. I'm also reading Jade War by Fonda Lee which is probably going to be my favorite book of the year. Um, I'm right now I'm over halfway into it so I have I want to say I have like 270 pages left maybe but I really really love this series the Greenbone Saga it is absolutely amazing and it might be kind of ambitious to try to finish it within these two days but I really do want to make an effort to because it's just so good and like I cannot stop thinking about it. I love it. And then there are a couple more things that we're going to be doing. So Andrew and I are going out today to see more New York City Christmas sites. So I will bring you along for that. And I also got a new bookshelf. So I want to build that and kind of set it up toward my entryway. It's like a little bit of a different kind of bookshelf. I also got the Illumicrate Greenbone Saga special edition books and I figured that I would wait and unbox those on camera so I'm gonna do that too. I'm also gonna bake some Christmas cookies. I feel like I feel like that's like pretty much the gist of what we're gonna be doing so I have to go film my other video and then Andrew and I are going to head out and start our day. Look at how cloudy it is. You can't even see the tops of these buildings. They just like stop right in the middle and then it's just clouds. <laughs>
we are doing a quick stop kind of for a brunch but it's like a very late brunch they didn't open until 12 <laughs> but we've been awake since like 5 30 so it's really more lunch than brunch but we're getting breakfast food but brunch is just lunch with purchase food, yeah that's true yeah so yeah and we did have a little something for breakfast mm -hmm. so it's like oh it's second breakfast <laughs> Heard of that? Uh, yeah. Hopefully. Um, and then we are going to head to a Flower Shop and another McNally Jackson because they didn't have the book that I was looking for. And we probably would have went anyway. We probably would have went anyway. That's true. Yeah. It's hard to pass a bookstore and not go in, right, Andrew? I deal with that on a daily basis. It's, uh, <laughs> it's so hard. The struggle's real. Yeah. It's so hard. <laughs> Okay, we are home. We just got back from our day out and both of us are exhausted. So very tired. It was a lot of walking, but it was really nice. But it was like over 60 degrees out and I wore a very warm wool sweater and a winter coat. So I'm like so sweaty right now. I can't wait to just put pajamas on and lay down and read some Jade War, which I have next to me. We actually went to four bookstores looking for Jade Legacy and not a single bookstore had it. We went to McNally Jackson downtown at the seaport. Then we went to McNally Jackson on Prince Street. Then we went to the Strand and then we went to the Barnes and Noble in Union Square and not a single store had Jade Legacy. So they were not kidding about pre-ordering new books that you want to get because that one is brand new. Just came out like two weeks ago and it is nowhere to be found. I need to lay down and I need to take this sweater off. <laughs> I'll give you another update soon. I just watched the first episode of the new Sex and the City show and just like that, and just like that, I don't know if I'm gonna watch any more episodes because I'm so mad after this first one. I don't wanna spoil anything, but I am so upset and I wasn't ready for that. And I have a lot of criticism about how that scene played out and yeah, I'm not happy about this, like, even a little bit. So I think we're gonna switch TV shows now because I truly don't know if I'm going to watch any more of it. I feel like all of these reboots are just, like, failing for me. Not liking Gossip Girl. Definitely didn't like the first episode of this show. It's very sad. It's almost like they should make new shows. <laughs> Okay, so it is the next day, it's Sunday, and we had a couple of things that we had planned for today, but both Andrew and I are like so exhausted. Yesterday when we were out, we ended up walking like nine miles, and I feel like I've just felt like dead ever since we got home. We ended up just like binge watching a whole bunch of TV last night, didn't really get anything else like at all done, and then this morning we got up early, we went grocery shopping, and we just finished having breakfast and I had some tea. And now like I feel like there are so many things that I still want to get done this weekend and I just don't know if all of them are gonna happen but I'm certainly gonna try my best I also don't think that I feel like putting on makeup or anything today so I think this is like the look that we're going with two things that I wanted to share with you guys are my unboxing of the green bone saga from Illumicrate so I have that right next to me. It actually came in like a giant brown box versus the like yellow Illumicrate box that things usually come in. So I'm just gonna like pull them out here. And then I also got a package from Waterstones. And I think that that is my special edition of Carry On by Rainbow Roll that's gonna match the other Waterstones editions that I have. So 
I figured I'll open both of those on camera and then I think I want to finish editing my video that I was working on, bake my Christmas cookies, maybe build my bookshelf, um, and then yeah, hopefully do some reading because I also have not done enough reading this weekend because I just was out and then too tired to process anything. But here we go with the unboxing. I'm going to start with the Illumicrate one because I got it in the mail on Friday and I am so excited to open it but I was like no I'm going to wait and open it on camera because I'm reading the book this weekend or I'm finishing the book this weekend and I feel like it would be like a good theme. So I've been like dying to look at these and every time that they've popped up on Instagram I've been like oh X close out so that I don't see what they look like. I've seen like the pages but not like the actual covers so outside of the digital mock-ups. So here we go. <laughs> so first I have the um little paper that tells you what everything is. Mine came a little bit beat up. There's kind of like a hole in the middle of it but that's fine. I would I wouldn't keep that anyway. It looks like we have a whole bunch of bookmarks of characters from the Greenbone Saga so I think this is when this is Hilo. That is definitely Shay. That is definitely Andon. There is this Twice Lucky Jan Loon souvenir set. It's like a set of plates designed by Fez Inkright. So first we have Twice Lucky Jan Loon, which is really pretty. I like all the lanterns. And then we've got this one, which is also really pretty. And these are actually really cute. They kind of like, they're like little plates, but they also kind of look like teacup saucers. But they're actually kind of perfect because I feel like whenever I want to take a picture of like a book with cookies or something, the plates that I have are just like too big. So this will be a good way to do that without having like an enormous plate in my photo. And now the books. So first up, it looks like it's Jade War. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's Jade War. It's so beautiful. I love all of the foiling. And then these are what the pages look like. And it says, On My Life. And this is actually the book that I am currently in the middle of reading. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love this. I think that these editions are just so gorgeous. They did such a fantastic job designing these. And considering that this is becoming one of my favorite series of all time, I'm like so thankful that I read the first one before the pre-sale went up for these and I immediately, immediately ordered them. Then we have the third book in the series, Jade Legacy. And <laughs> Andrew was very confused yesterday when we went to four bookstores looking for this. And then when we got home, I told him that I actually already had a copy here, but I was looking for a different kind of copy of it because these are just like so beautiful and like special and I'm like I don't know if I actually want to read this one because I don't want like anything to happen to it. I kind of want to get like the paperback copy of the original cover like first of all to keep because I really really love the series but second of all like to read because these are just amazing. So this one is Jade Legacy again it has like the really beautiful foiling that you've got the spine and then on the back of this one it says on my jade um, and then also these are the spray pages. And the first book is Jade City and again so beautiful, love the foiling. These are the pages and this one says On My Honor and then we've got the spine. And these, oh my god they're amazing. I think these are definitely going to be moved over to my favorites shelf like without question. I think of the three, I think the um, these two are probably my favorite. I do like the one for Jade War 2 but I think I like the colors of these best. Here they all are together. Again, really, really pretty. Really excited to have these. And then we've got my Waterstones box, which just has my address like everywhere on it. So I'm not going to show that to you. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this is what it looks like. And then oh, check out those pages. Those are amazing. I'm so, so excited that Waterstones like gifted us with this beautiful edition because I had the Waterstones edition for the second book and the third book and I just assumed that I would like never have a first book that matches but now I do and the hardback is probably the same yeah so the hardback matches the pages and then this is the end paper it's the same here oh and we actually have a different one on the back so very 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 excited about this edition this is 
this is one for the shelf all right so that was everything for the unboxing portion of the video i think now i'm going to move on to baking the cookies and i'm going to listen to more of the frozen audiobook i started listening to it a little bit yesterday while i was doing my makeup before i started filming my videos for the weekend so far fine but i only listened to one chapter so i don't have like a strong opinion yet but i'm hoping to get through a bigger chunk of it now so i will check in after i bake and let you guys know where i am and what i'm thinking so no christmas cookies yet but i did just assemble my spine tower bookshelf for next to my entryway and i have to say this was like the easiest bookshelf that i've ever assembled in my entire life and <laughs> It was really really nice and easy so now I just have to figure out which books I want to put on here I just finished baking so I made these which are called pecan dandies my mom used to make them every year so they were one that i definitely wanted to make i have to roll them in powdered sugar a second time but they're like mostly done they're just cooling a little bit now and then i will do that and put them in a little container but i already tried one and they came out really good so i'm very glad about that and while i was baking and also i did a couple of like organizational things and then I showed you that I also built that bookshelf and while I did that I was listening to Conceal Don't Feel by Jen Kalanita which is the Disney Frozen Twisted Tale and I have to say I'm like really really enjoying it right now I'm 70% into the book and I didn't really have high expectations going in but like it's really good. I feel like I've had kind of a day where I've been a little bit stressed out and anxious. So this has been like the perfect thing to listen to because Frozen is just like very comforting. But basically the twist on this tale is that Anna and Elsa are sisters, but they were separated and they never knew each other and they didn't know that the other one existed for the whole time growing up. And now Elsa's powers have shown and you know the whole thing happens with her coronation and then she realizes like she's had memories of this girl but she didn't know who she was and then she found this letter and now she is going to try to find Anna and Anna is also going out in search of Elsa because she feels like she wants to be there to help her and it's just so sweet and I can't wait for the two of them to get together and also like another change that was made is that Prince Hans is like kind of hitting on Elsa and trying to court her versus Anna which I feel like just makes more sense in general but I like that they kept that Elsa is like no like we just met that's very soon to like get engaged or anything but it's just like delightful so it's just it's the story of Frozen but it's a twist <laughs> so I'm so pleased that I'm enjoying it so much and now I really feel confident that I will be trying to read as many of the twisted tales as I can in 2022 really really happy about that I haven't had a chance to read any Jade War yet but once I do I will give you an update we'll see how it goes I think for right now like because I'm stressed out and because Jade War is a pretty stressful book my priority is definitely going to be to finish the Frozen book to finish with my cookies and I also got Frozen washi tape in the mail finally I ordered it back in like October and it finally finally just arrived so now I can do the December spreads in my bullet journal so I also want to work on that and I also still have to finish editing my first video for next week so I've got a lot to do but I am feeling like I'm in a better place and I'm feeling a little bit more calm than I was this morning so that's a plus. Hello it is a couple of days later so I just like did not really feel like filming on the rest of Sunday and then I was like kind of unproductive and like out of it on Monday so it's now Tuesday but I wanted to just give a little bit of an update because I did a couple of the things that I said that I was gonna do so first of all I finished my December bullet journal spreads which I'm really proud of I really love them but I'm only gonna show you the first two pages since I have released my TBR video and I have not released a book haul for December or what I've read for December so I don't want to like spoil anything there 
And I, again, am also going to do a bullet journal flip through. Here is my December pages. I hope that these are focusing. Yes, okay. So as you can see, it is Frozen themed and I've already read a couple books on my TBR, which I'm excited about. Very exciting, but I finished reading Jade War and I wrote a one sentence Goodreads review and that review was this book is hands down one of the best books I've ever read in my entire life and I can't even tell you like the emotional roller coaster journey that I went on reading this book. It's so interesting because the first book I really loved but it had a little bit of a slow start for me and then going into this one obviously things were like just immediately exciting off the bat and like I didn't have to learn who the characters were or get used to like the world or the magic system or anything like that. I just kind of like dove right back in and man, so good. There was a duel in this book that was like so stressful and Fond du Lis, like if you like a character, no one is safe no one is safe and it hurts me. It was just like phenomenal from start to finish. I'm, I'm just like so so impressed with the world that she's crafted and like I don't know how she does it but like I just felt so much while I was reading this. I love the Call family so much and I just want good things for them and she does not always provide that and it hurts. <laughs> there were so many moments where I was just like gasping and I feel like this is the first like very serious book hangover that I've had in a long time. Normally like while I'm reading I'm like already thinking like okay this is what I'm gonna read next and I finished reading this book and I was like oh my god I have no idea what I'm going to read next first of all second of all like how do I even choose something because nothing is going to compare to this so I think I'm gonna read a romance to like just like something light and fun so it's different but I am going to be thinking about this book like literally forever and I cannot wait to read Jade Legacy. I just like need to know how this wraps up. If you've read this like you'll know exactly what I'm talking about but I also I was telling Andrew like so normally when I read fantasy books I'm always in it for the characters like the character moments are always what really like keep my interest and normally during like fight scenes or battle scenes or whatever like I obviously read them I don't I never skim or anything I like I read every word in every book that I read but I do feel like I my eyes kind of like glaze over a little bit when there are battle scenes like I'm kind of like okay this is happening this is happening like what now like give me character moments and in this series when there are duels happening uh, or like attacks or what have you I am like captivated and I'm like phenomenal. If you have not read Jade City or Jade War, I cannot recommend these books enough. This is definitely, like I'm I'm calling it now, this is definitely going to be my favorite book of the year. I have no doubt in my mind there's pretty much no way that I could possibly read anything that would top this because not only is it my favorite book of the year, it's also like definitely a favorite book of all time ever. I'm actually like really excited to be adding another series to like my all-time favorites, favorites, favorites list. This just like completely delivered and I will read every book that Fond du Lis writes for as long as I live. I will pre-order them. There's no question in my mind. I don't know how she did this. I'm just so impressed. I can't even describe like it's hard to put into words read this you guys this is this is it <laughs> so that is like my update so I just kind of wanted to like wrap up this vlog but before I fully wrap it up I have a little bonus clip for you so at the end of the video I'm inserting a clip that I filmed on Friday of last week because I finished reading as good as dead which is the last book in the a good girl's guide to murder series the trilogy and 
I really like just needed to talk about it right away so I'm giving you like the full heads up now I'm pretty sure I say it at the beginning of that clip too but that is spoilery so if you haven't read that series yet definitely don't watch my thoughts on it because I definitely like tiptoed around some things but I also kind of had to just flat out say what I was thinking because I had a lot of feelings about that book too so hopefully you guys will enjoy that um that is all that I have for this vlog. I've really been enjoying doing vlogs and I'm going to continue doing them. I don't know if I'm going to do them weekly like I have been doing in December if I'm going to continue that into the new year, but I definitely wanted to do it each weekend at least in December because there's just so much like fun stuff to do and see in the city during the holiday season and I really like looking back on those times and it's also been fun to actually do like reading vlogs versus bookish vlogs which is what I used to do where I kind of like did some, went to bookstores opened some bookish things but now I'm like actually reading and giving you book feelings in real time which is kind of nice so I hope that you guys enjoyed this as well and I will be doing another one of these on this upcoming weekend I already know what I'm gonna be reading I'm really excited to start it but that is all that I have for this video so I will see you guys soon in a new one bye oh no <laughs> no stay tuned for the as good as dead clip because I will wrap things up then but if you haven't then goodbye so okay hey so this was not supposed to be part of my weekend reading vlog at all but it's actually Friday so like I'm planning on starting my vlog tomorrow however I just finished reading As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson and I wanted to like film a clip right now because I just have so many feelings about this book like so many emotions and I just feel like I've been so stressed this entire morning while I've been listening to the ending of this book. Um, I really enjoyed books one and two in the series. I thought they were like absolutely excellent and then this book. So here's the thing like I really did enjoy it I understand why it took such a dark turn like everything that happened in the first two books obviously that was going to leave some kind of lasting effects on Pip sure get it however she just like made such bad decisions in this book and it drove me crazy and I, like I lost a lot of respect for her so I'm not going to be able to talk about this without spoilers like it'll just be impossible so if you haven't read this book or if you haven't read the series I would suggest not watching to this because I'm just gonna go through it right now but so here's the thing like obviously Max Hastings is the worst and he should have been convicted in his case in the second book but he wasn't so I don't feel bad about him like being framed essentially however the thing that really really well two things that really bothered me first of all I felt like throughout this book Pip has always been fighting to kind of do the right thing and Max did not kill Jason so like to implicate Max despite Max being a terrible person like I just feel like that was wrong on so many levels like he did not commit murder that's Ugh, I just wow and then second of all which is the thing that really like bothered me the most was that which did eventually get resolved but Billy who has been sitting in jail for being the DT killer because he was coerced into giving a false confession he could have gotten off by Pip proving that Jason was actually the DT killer however she decided that she obviously she was in a very dark place she was very worried kind of worried for her life with everything with Jason kidnapping her so she killed Jason instead of going with the self-defense route which I think would have been a lot better because it's more accurate she decided to frame Max and by doing that she kind of took away any chance that Billy had for getting out of jail and like getting some semblance of a life back and again like that did work itself out but Pip had no way of knowing that that would happen while she was making the decisions that she was making. So I just like, oh my god, I was, just, I was just so stressed out the whole time I was reading this. I was just like, how is this happening? What is she doing? Like, I just lost some respect for her. I don't even know. And then the ending, I was like, what? Like, that was not an ending. I, how is this the last book in the series? I mean, I think you, you can like infer what happened there, 
but I just wanted something a little bit more concrete. I don't know, like it just broke my heart. Like Pip has been through so much and then to make the choices she did and then to like distance herself completely from her family and friends, like that was really heartbreaking just to, to listen to. And I don't even know like what to say from here. I feel like I have such like mixed feelings, but they're like very, very intense, very strong feelings. I've been texting one of my friends all morning who already finished the book finished the series and um we've been like going back and forth about things um and that's the thing like I feel like even though there were a lot of things about this book that I didn't like and a lot of decisions I didn't like I'll still probably end up rating it pretty highly because overall I love the series overall I love the characters and overall I clearly have some very strong feelings about everything that happened so it definitely did like evoke a reaction out of me because there are a lot of things that I read where I'm like hmm, okay that was nice or you know whatever and then kind of move on but I feel like I'm going to be thinking about this for like a long time I, I mean I can't even imagine how I'm going to not think about this at least for the rest of this day like I'm just going to be like dwelling over here <laughs> so anyway this is going to be the end of the reading vlog I'm going to I'm gonna insert this clip at the end. I'm gonna start filming tomorrow and we're gonna be talking about other books, but like I just had to talk about that and I feel like it can't really be spoilery in wrap ups because obviously like not everyone has read it, but if I put it at the end of a the video, then people can kind of choose like not to watch through the end. So if you've read this, like I need to talk about it. If you wanna message me or something on Instagram, please feel free because like I feel like I could talk about this a lot and I don't want to be spoilery in the comments in case no in case like other people haven't read it. Wow. I I just don't know how I feel like. So ending this video on a weird note, but that's all that I have for this one and I'll see you guys in a new video. Bye.